Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. What are we doing in today's video? Probably something just like the thumbnail and the title suggested. I'm going to be taking a look at a muzzle break on my 300 Win Mag. You guys that have been watching the channel for a while, you know, I don't claim to be an expert on anything. I just take stuff out and see what happens and show you guys the facts. But that being said, um, I don't have any shushers uh, for my bolt action rifles. I've just never gone through the hassle. I'd love to have a bunch of them and hunt with them, but I've just never gone through the hassle. Never gone through paying extra money for them. Uh, probably why I have to have the TV and the radio up so loud and I'm just about deaf. Uh, that's not a joke. I'm supposed to be wearing hearing aids. But this is my Thompson Center Compass 300 Win Mag. Uh, it kicks. Um, and what I have today, I'm going to take out to the range, is a muzzle brake for it, a 30 cal muzzle brake. Whole reason I'm doing the intro from the kitchen, I should probably tell you that, it's pouring down rain today, which is good for the range because nobody's going to be out there. You know, the AR boys aren't going to be out there doing mag dumps while we're trying to film a video. But the bad news is the range has a tin roof and that's probably going to destroy all the audio. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a muzzle brake out to the range and I'm going to shoot it. That's actually this one right here. This is a muzzle brake from Wit Machine, W-I-T-T, -T, Wit Machine. I'm going to um, take the rifle. I'm going to shoot three shots at a hundred yard target as fast as I can. Fire one, back on target, fire two, back on target, fire three, and just see how long it takes. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with a muzzle brake. And then these Whip Machine muzzle brakes, they're called the SMEs, Sound Mitigation Equipment. Then I'm gonna put the shroud on the muzzle brake, like so, just screw it on there, and see what the felt recoil is like that. Uh, with the shroud on but the whole thing about these muzzle brakes right um, it's not rocket science you put a muzzle brake on there it's supposed to reduce the recoil help you get back on the rifle um, for a follow-up shot I don't care who you are when you're flinging 300 wind mag you cannot stay on the scope and stay on target it's just impossible so the muzzle brake is supposed to do exactly that, help you stay on target, push the gases out, um, and help you with a follow-up shot. So I'm gonna put that on video in real life, live action, and see if these muzzle brakes help out. Uh, but, whip machine, um, I've never had my hands on one. Just got these in, they make muzzle brakes from starting at 223 all the way up to 45 caliber. These, this right here, if you go on their site and check out the SMEs. This is what you're gonna find. They're, this is made out of 416 stainless. That'll mean, mean uh, more to some of you than others. Both the brake and the shroud here, 416 stainless. This is the SME sound mitigation equipment. You get the brake and then the shroud. So you put the shroud on, presumably, it puts the gases out forward instead of at the people next to you. Um, I'm not necessarily worried about that. Uh, then if you get the one that looks like this, so these are two different shrouds right here. The one that looks like this is the lightweight model. That's actually the one that I'm gonna be testing out today. So, uh, and the lightweight model is made out of aluminum as opposed to this shroud being the 416 stainless. So. This is the uh, unit I'm gonna be taking out to the range here today. I'm gonna do, like I said, three shots just like this with the thread protector on this 300 Win Mag. Then I'm gonna do three with just the brake, and then I'm gonna do three with the brake and the shroud. So my hypothesis is that I'm going to like it a whole lot better just with this brake. Um, like I said, uh, I'm not worried about the people beside me. Um, one, um, the plans to use this for hunting, so that doesn't matter. And two, I typically don't go to the range and 
fire blue lights next to a bunch of people. Like, that's just not my thing. Uh, for some of you, that might matter. Uh, but my guess is, like I said, I'm going to like flinging them with this brake on there the best. In my head, um, when you put this shroud on, uh, I'm assume, assuming it does something. Otherwise, they wouldn't even sell them. But when you put that shroud on there and you're pushing the gases out that way, in my head, in my brain, um, you're kind of essentially doing the same thing without a brake. Uh, but so this, I'm going to guess, does the best job of reducing the recoil and I'll be able to get back on follow-up shots a lot quicker. And then this is probably going to do something too, but it's, it's going to add more to the kick. But let's see what happens. Again, uh, this is Wit Machine muzzle brakes. They make them in 223 all the way up to uh, 45 caliber. And the one that I'm going to be using today is the 30 caliber here on my Thompson Center Compass. Here's three shots with no brake. Go get just the brake. Now, I'm going to add the shroud on there. So, back from the range, 100% got soaked out there, but eh, it was okay because when it rains, nobody else shows up to the range except for me. So I had the place to myself and didn't have to worry about anybody else or having to wait to go put my targets out, all that jazz. Uh, but I think I said in the beginning of the video that I was going to like this setup the best, firing the 300 Win Mag with just this brake on it. And that is 100% the case. So, uh, quite honestly, um, I did not expect the break to reduce the recoil as much as it did. So, like I said, um, I don't ever try to be an expert on anything. I have never used um, just a screw-on muzzle brake in my life, aside from like what comes on some ARs and stuff. Uh, but... As far as bolt action rifles goes, I have never used a muzzle brake until today, and I'm 100% sold on these. Hopefully in the footage you could see what I was feeling, but this, this brake, 100%, takes away the recoil. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back on here, the 30 cal SME sound mitigation equipment. Uh, and it's probably just gonna hang out on this until I need this on a uh, different 30 cal. But 
Thanks for watching the video today, guys. Uh, like I said, weight machine, SMEs, or sound mitigation equipment. One we used in the video today is that lightweight one, uh, lightweight shroud, rather. Um, I like it without the shroud, but um, like I said, if you're flinging boo lots around other people, you might want to put the shroud on there. But um, I am now sold on muzzle brakes, being a newbie to muzzle brakes. Uh, you guys that know me know that I do a ton. I'm talking about a ton of bolt action rifle shooting. Um, probably more than anybody you have ever known, do know, or will ever know. But um, that's kind of my jam, bolt action rifles. Um, why did it take me so long to do muzzle brakes? That's a fantastic question. I do not know. Um, but, hey, um, especially when you get into the heavier ones, so 300 wind mag, seven millimeter rim mag, 338 wind mag, um, Man, literally was night and day out there at the range. Hopefully you can see that in the footage. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. Whip machine, 30 cal, muzzle brake on my Thompson Center compass. I dig it. That's the cool thing about these compasses too. Um, as some of the other Thompson Center models they come with a threaded barrel. Um, some of the Ruger Americans do depending on which one you get. Um, but yeah. I dig it. You know, it's either spend a grand and wait a year on some kind of shusher, uh, which Whip Machine makes shushers too. Uh, or get you one of these for a whole lot cheaper and it's going to reduce a whole bunch of the blast. But hey, whatever floats your boat, uh, I've probably been rambling on too long already, but <laughs> I'm glad to be inside and dry it off uh, a little bit at least. But appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this. Comment down below. What do you think about these brakes? I'm always interested to see what you guys think. A lot of you guys have more experience uh, with these than I have probably. But we will catch you on the next one, guys. Appreciate you. As always, we'll see you on the next one. Whip Machine SME takes the boogie out of your shoulder punch. Appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm. Load it up and get it all as soon as you can. Thirty on six, ten mil, fifty cap. It don't make a difference, man. We like to shoot and make a little boom boom. If you like flinging boom.